Hey guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the weeks of or remainder of November 2020. Um, so I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Um, also, if you guys are wanting to book a personal or private reading, be sure to check the description box below for ways to reach me. Excuse me. Um, also, if you want to reach me by phone, sorry, I drank some pot before I started. <laughs> if you want to reach me by phone, um, that's a different process, but make sure you're registered. You can request a call back, and if I don't get back to you that day, I will eventually get back to you uh, sometimes that week. Um, and then also, if you have not joined me on Patreon, make sure to do so for the Venus sign readings and other bonus readings or um, just check out the tiers on Patreon. So we have the central issue, heart of the matter as the hanged man. We have the ace of swords. We've got the king of cups. We have the four of swords. We've got the Ten of Cups, the Knight of Wands, Seven of Cups, and the Six of Cups. Okay, so the overall energy, I feel, is about being in suspense, um, being things kind of being put on hold. Um, there is a need for you to look at something from a different vantage point. Um, you also may need to let go of any type of old beliefs or ideas. I'm also getting that you're needing to rest up. You are being prepared um, spiritually for the person that is coming towards you or the relationship that you're in, um, something about it is becoming very spiritual. I feel like it serves a higher purpose or a higher calling. It also looks like there's already been some sort of uh, telepathic or spiritual communication between you and uh, a love interest. This person is an old soul. Um, Someone has been here before many lifetimes. There's a connection that you're having with this person. This person is also gravitating towards your energy. Someone is also activating your spiritual gifts and abilities. It's like it's, that may be one of the reasons why you and this person are connecting or will be connecting and I also feel like you've been thinking about someone a lot. And this person's also been thinking about you. Um, I feel like you've been on each other's mind, put it that way. Mm, you might dream about them. I feel like you're going to be uh, dreaming a lot. Mm, there's a need for you to just kind of be patient because something is getting ready to happen really soon. I feel like you've been waiting for a response or waiting for confirmation and I feel like finally something's going to be revealed or something will come come through. Um, I feel like something is saying you're going to be living the dream. Mm, this is this something is happening where it seems like maybe it's too perfect or is too good to be true and you're going to pull back and ask yourself is this real um you're like i don't believe what i'm witnessing here i don't know how can i tell that i'm not being punked that i'm not being lied to like what i need to see this so something's going on where i feel like you're trying to make some sort of decision or you're trying to come to some sort of understanding you need clarity and you don't want to make some sort of emotional decision you're like let me make sure i'm thinking straight before i do this um you do have um a soulmate coming in i feel like you've also been dreaming about this person already if you haven't 
it seems like you will be. Um, this is to prepare you. I feel like you've known this person from a previous life. You know this, they know this. It's also something very unexplainable about this connection. Something doesn't make sense. You're like, I'm feeling this person, but I don't know why. Um, and I don't know why you would question that. Um, something is kind of fairy tale-ish or taboo. Mm. Hmm. There's also something very secret about this connection. Like maybe something starts off kind of secretive. You also may have options, which is another reason why you're just kind of confused. You're like, I'm confused. Like, who is my real soulmate? And I know those of you that watch me know that you or you may have heard me say that I personally feel that you can have more than one soulmate. Um, but I also feel like as of late, I've realized that sometimes um, you have someone that's like a soul contract. You have a soul contract with someone, but it doesn't necessarily mean that your soulmate. To me, the thing that makes the uh, brings about the difference is that a soulmate brings out deep loving feelings like there's a, a bond there um, that you really can't explain uh, a soulmate feels like your best friend it feels like you just get each other um but that soul contract it feels just more so obligation even if you love that person until you've been in love with someone and you just on a deep soul level, it might be hard to understand. Now, also, you could be dealing with someone with Venus and Scorpio. Um, I mean, Venus and Scorpios feel love on a very deep level. And I also feel that people who have Venus and Scorpio experience um, multiple soulmates. They, fought, they do fall in love with most people they come across um most people touch them deeply and that's because that scorpion energy um is past energy and it is something that carries a lot of karma so i feel like relationships are being um uh well karma is being resolved through relationships that's why all the relationships that venus and scorpio may have may come off as karmic or it just feels heavy or just uh, transformative all the time. It's like, why are my relationships so transformative? Um, now, if you don't have Venus and Scorpio, of course, with you being, um, well, that you might be Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. So one of the, one of those placements, with one of those placements, you could still have uh, Venus and Scorpio. But if you don't, you still might have, um, you could have Venus in the eighth house. That would still cause those type of feelings. Or if Pluto and Venus are conjunct, you could still um, have those type of uh, feelings or experience those type of relationships, rather. Um, now, also, something could be going on in regards to family. Like, maybe you're discovering that you're pregnant. Maybe you've been dreaming about being pregnant. Um, and wanting to have children, maybe that could be the purpose of a relationship or a connection. If it's not about giving birth, it still to me indicates that somebody might have children already. Somebody that already has a family established. Um, so yeah, you could be dealing with Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, um, or another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and maybe Libra. Um, I feel too like maybe someone's going to reach out to you or message you. They're think they've been thinking about it. Someone's been thinking about how they want to approach you. I feel like you whatever you've been experiencing has been mutual. Both you and this person are connected with each other. I feel too like you and a water sign are deeply connected.
Hmm. Some of you have been patiently waiting for stability. Something is going to give you stability or security. Like you are going to know where you stand with someone. Maybe you've been wondering, you're like, what's our status? Like, where do we stand? Where do I stand with this person? And I feel like you are going to have that confirmation. Um, I also feel like a seed has been planted and something has been growing. Something has been developing. Something has strong roots. So the foundation of a relationship is going to have strong roots. This also may be why something has been in a long time making or why you have, have had to be very patient with your situation. You look pretty happy or content too, just or at peace with the way things are turning out. You're like, I'm okay with waiting. Mm. This waiting is giving you clarity. You probably need it this time out, especially those of you that are not in relationships. I feel like you need it this time out. Mm. You've had time to spiritually prepare yourself for a connection. If you are in a relationship already, I feel like there are things going on where you and your partner are talking about preparing for some sort of changes. You might be talking about um, expanding your home in some way, shape, or form. I feel like it's more so about children, um, but it could be literally about like expanding your home, like adding an, an addition to the home, a new room, uh, or just moving into a bigger home. It also, if it's not about children, maybe someone's family member has to move in or you are going to have to move in with your family members. Some of you are, have also been thinking about something about money or finances. I feel like somebody's waiting for you. Hmm. Hmm. Someone is very analytical and strategic when it comes to love. This is like serious. Um, I feel like relationships are nothing to play with. Someone takes their relationships very seriously. Um, so before they approach whoever they want to be with, they really have to process things. They really take their time. They they might put someone through a series of tests. They might need to build up a lot of trust with someone, um, especially if someone has status and is concerned about being used. This might be someone who wants to make sure that they um, have someone that is trustworthy, that is not just using them for their name, status or finances. Mm. I also feel like someone wants you to actually work for them. So you might be getting ready to um, enter a relationship with someone who has status. All right, let me look at the Seven of Cups. Okay, um, I'm hearing another old school song from High Five. I like the way the kissing game. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Maybe that is someone's favorite song. Maybe someone uh, likes to listen to that to this day. The lead singer, his name was Tony. And I know he passed away. I don't know if Tony is just like a reference or a name for you. Somebody is trying to make sense of something. 
I feel like someone's been sending cryptic messages and you might suddenly realize what someone is trying to say or what this person is trying to do. Someone is trying to share something with you privately, um, private messages. I'm also oddly getting something about private donations. So maybe that's for those of you that have some sort of a business where you take donations. I feel like something, uh, someone is giving you a big donation or giving you a private donation. Someone's also going to do something for you out of the blue or share something with you that throws you off guard. They're sharing a secret with you. They trust you. And you are asking, like, why are you telling me? And this person is just like, I trust you. As simple as that. There's nothing confusing about it. Like, maybe you're confused, but they're not. This person knows exactly what they're doing. Um... Let me check one more thing. I feel like someone is looking over you or feels like they need to protect you. Or maybe this person was like a protector in a previous life. Man, yeah. So I feel like within these next couple of weeks, someone is going to show you in a big way um, that they care about you. They're going to show you that they trust you. Someone's been struggling with how to move forward. But once there is clarity, this person is like, okay, the, I'm, I'm doing it. You know, this is the person I'm sure I've made a decision. This is who I want to be with. This is who I trust. If someone has been holding out or trying to keep their distance, Someone, if someone has been trying to hold back their love for you, I feel like their guards are coming down. They're ready to open up and communicate with you or you might feel that way about someone. Just kind of like, okay, I'm ready to trust again or I'm ready to love you or I'm ready to listen to what you have to say. All right, so those are the messages. Hopefully they resonated. Uh, feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Sending you love and grace.